So for those of you that follow me on Instagram, you already saw a teaser of this right here. This is an abundance of cases for the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus. I'm gonna try to break it down for you, show you what the landscape looks like in the world of cases for your new iPhone. One of the first things I noticed when I was handling these latest and greatest Apple products is just how slippery they are. This thing is, whatever they did on the finish here just makes it incredibly slidey. There's a lot in front of me here. Hopefully help you select the right case for your iPhone 7 or 7 Plus. So first up, the bumper case drop protection from 11 feet. What does that look like? So it can fall from basketball height, supposedly. That's pretty amazing. You've still got a physical button to press there. The bottom has access as well. You haven't given up the whole design aesthetic of the iPhone. And then it gives you that grip as well. We have the official Apple leather case. Now these aren't cheap, made out of real leather though. <sighs> Yeah, that's leather. Snaps right on pretty easily. With real leather, especially this tan color, there's gonna be some nuance, imperfections, but that's how you know it's real leather. As nice as they look, they're a little bit flimsy. So I don't know how much protection that offers up. Way more grippy than the stock naked iPhone. So there you have it. Holy smokes, Lou, are you crazy? Military strength protection. Like what a weird combination of worlds. Oh my. God, douche, that is solid. So it's like a soft shell interior, which then goes into this hard exterior. Maybe you're a military minded bling type individual. What next? Presidio clear. This to me looks like a, a basic clear case. So it won't yellow, it resists UV light. Have protection without completely covering up the design of your product. So you can still see you got the matte black iPhone and the extra protection. Look at this monster. This is the Defender, triple layer protection, screen protector, belt clip. Kind of bulks up the phone a little bit, but a ton of grip. I'm pretty confident that in a, in a case like this, you're not gonna need to worry at all. You might have to worry about the case attacking you. This part clips on, nice and easy, and then maneuver that around the outside. It's hard to say you can do better than the Defender. This one's a little bit different. It's from UAG and it's got a built-in wallet. It's not like it got super fat because of it. On the back here, you got a spot for some cards and it clips down. Hey, if you're trying to eliminate your fat wallet and force yourself to only bring what you need, that's kind of cool. Next up, we've got the official Apple silicone cases. I'll open up the red one here. Whoa, that, that was super satisfying. Well done. Ooh. And on the big boy, a ton more grip. Rep the red. What's this one called? Plasma. A vibrant yellow for the boss players out there. You've got these bolts so you look tougher than you actually are. That's kind of an interesting look right there. Now this guy is an even bigger boy. This has an armor frame, top grain leather, 2X against the military standard and a 10 year warranty. Slides in super easy. Ooh, I mean, that's a kind of statement. You gotta be up for that. That's aggressive, that's rugged. But if you wanna go straight Robocop, slash Terminator, slash every action hero of all time, that might be your one right there. Next up, we've got this product from Moshi, which is kind of funny because They've labeled it as premium vegan leather, which to me is like a kind of hipster way of saying synthetic leather. This is military grade drop protection, but I bet you it doesn't smell like leather. No, not at all. It actually feels kind of nice though. This one has a, a harder shell to it. You know what? I don't really mind that. This one is another bumper case, but for the bigger 7 Plus, so same concept as the first. Another UAG one, this is the Pathfinder. Plasma, Monarch, now Pathfinder. One solid piece of plastic. I mean, that's just if you want a slightly more subdued version. Now maybe you want something that's a little bit less kind of obvious. Here's one from Spigen called the crystal hybrid. This is kind of cool. So that is very clear with a hard shell around the exterior. Phone goes in here first and then the next part kind of locks it all in. It's gonna give you some grip. This is the only one we've got that can kind of have a little viewing stand to it. We got one more competitor 
from Otterbox. This is called Symmetry. It's a hard shell, I'll tell you what. You drop it, nothing happens, you're not concerned. If you're kind of like a mid-range protection person and you still want that nice easy in and out from your pocket, that has you covered. The sides grip it a little bit, but not much. Let's see, I wanna show you what I'm talking about with this one, with the Defender. A real breakdown of the craziness that is the case market, you might be able to repurpose a 6S case, but even on the 7, the camera cutout is slightly larger. What am I gonna use? Oh man, this is, that's a tough one. I'm gonna go Robocop for a little bit. Total Recall, Terminator, something about this one speaks to me. So if you see me in the street, you're gonna know what's up. Who's better than you?